Hey guys, this is Joseph from Joe Concepts. I'm excited to come with this tutorial. It's been a while that I've been trying to get this and I'm so excited that I finally got it. So I feel I should bring it out. All right, so this tutorial is inspired by a friend of mine and I'm going to put down link in this description in this description so you can go into this tutorial. So in this tutorial, he showed how to bring in animation from Mixamo and join them together and here yeah, in that tutorial this is just like um an advanced part of it it's just like a revised part of that tutorial so if you haven't seen the tutorial just click on the link below and check this tutorial then you come back here and continue <laughs> The first thing is we go to Mixamo uh, website and you sh you're going to have an account, you need to have an account there. So basically what Mixamo does is for you to bring up a um, model and add in animations to the model. So right now the object doesn't have any animation. So quickly let me go through the overview of this interface. The first icon will allow you to open the for you to view the skeleton mode so you, once you click on this it goes to the skeleton mode if you click it again it goes back to your model the second one will allow you to rotate once you click on this then you can like orbit around the scene and the third one is to pan so once you click on pan you move the scene the other one is to zoom so this is basically the major thing you need here so but talking about the animation adding the animation to it so basically all you need to do is to just once you have your model then you come to this place search any type of animation you want so let's say i want to add in run so i'll type in run for instance press enter then it's going to bring up the run animations that i want so you could all you need to do is let me take this very funny run. so if you just click on the one you want just double click on it then that will be added to your avatar here then you will start to see the avatar running so you can see that so if I'm to zoom out you see the avatar running and just basically that is how you bring in the animation on your character so once you're done bringing in the animation all you want to do is just come to this download and you download the animation but I'm not going to download this animation I already have some animation that I'm going to use for this tutorial all right, so I am going to um, post this animation, then go out, come to my scene. All right, so now there is another animation which I made, and I'm going to play that for us to see. I brought in animation, I downloaded different animations, and I did a test render of someone running and diving then swimming. So that is just having in this animation, I had more than four different animations downloaded and joined together so basically what you need to do is just go to that part all the animations you want to add download the different animations that you want to add then you bring it here then you put them together that is just everything that there is to it so without further ado let's get into the tutorial okay so we start by bringing in the animation into this scene so i will go to my file go to merge then it takes me to my animation set i have the animation set i'm going to join the animation i downloaded so i'm starting with the tip post bring down the post click this i have my tip post so I'll, what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight everything group it together then name it so this is my tip post then i'm going to bring in the other two animation that i'm i want to join together so if i go to merge the next one is um the second one is uh, quarter pack pass i'm going to add that that gets added into this i'm going to join this also together alt g to join this so i'm going to say pass then the last animation that i'm going to be merging is the yelling <clears throat> so once i have this animation added i'm going to also group this alt g and call this yell Alright, so now I have the three animations here. If you look at all of them, see that yelling and 
the quarter part and uh, the pass and the tipple. So I want to be able to join all these three animations together. How can I go about joining this? So starting from the tipples, trying to do the throw the quarter the pass then yell. So that is the process. I'm starting with the tipples. The next one is to pass then to yell after passing. So how can we go about that? I'm going to start with my tipples. I'm going to hide these other um, animations that I've brought in. So if I select this grouped object, I will go to my animate. I'm going to see add motion clip. So this is my first um, pose. So I'm going to remove all included animations. So every other thing will be as you can see as default. So if I click on OK, it's going to add a motion clip to this and I have the um, the mocap um, animation also displayed here. So if I select this, you can already see everything we have here. So I have all this. But the only thing we need here is just to go to the opening this in timeline. So if I click on open the timeline, it shows me the timeline and this is the animation I have in the scene. So if I'm to play anything now, this is just the only thing I have. But I want to bring in the next animation so that I can um, blend them together. So I can hide this. Then select the next one, which is the pass. I can temporarily hide this. Then go to the pass, select it, go to animate, go to add motion clip. Now this time I'm going to remove included for the next animation. And that will be added. So I have this next one added. So if you come to the pass also, you also have all these things. But what we need is just for only the tipple. So I can hide this so I don't have anything in the scene. Just bring up only my tipples. So if I open the timeline for the tipples, because that is going to be my base animation, notice the other motion clip that I've added is also shown here. And I have the motion source tipples and motion source pass. So I want to bring in the pass into this animation and join it together. But then I need to first set this. So I'm going to use this to move this here and reduce this so that I can bring in the animation. So all I need to just drag the pass into this over to this place and move it close. Now if I'm to play this now, what you're going to see is do you notice what happens? You notice what happens? It jumps from that to the other pass and and you also see it um, shifting backwards and that is not good I need to have a blending from there to this so the first thing I'm going to do is to for me to blend this together I will first need to drag this back then this um, the the tipples I'm going to increase it in the timeline so I have um, maybe up to 15 then I'll set the pass and drag it over it so that I maybe up to 5 so you see this blending and not just jumping so if I try and check this animation now you notice it blends can you see instead of it jumping it blends alright so but then that is um adding um that but if you also still see something happens the leg shift the leg shifts and i don't want that i do i want the animation to start while his leg is still at this point where it started from notice if you come here the leg this left leg is here so i don't want it shifting back I want it I want the leg to still be here and maintaining this position so how can we go about that that is where the building block was that is where the problem was for me I was trying to do different things I try setting moving this um this and um, positioning it using the move to to move it there and it didn't work but one thing that worked for me is that and also sorry before that we can even decide to this pass and delete it even if we delete it out of the scene, it's still going to be represented because it is now part of the motion clip here. So if I'm to play everything, I still have the quarter path, the pass. So, but that is not the problem. And the problem is not to make this slide backwards. So if I go into the timeline and select 
this pass not all of them only the pass once i have the pass selected this comes here then i will go to the advanced section of the um attributes manager then i want to add the pivot that this is the key to making this work so if you click on add pivot the pivot will be added to this so this is where you now set where you want this to be so i will go to the pivot so this pivot is for the pass so this is going to be pass position so i will try and move so i'm going to go to my world mode so i have everything set so what i'm going to do now is to move this object out until okay so i need to move this object forward instead of it coming down here so can you see i need where this green thing is i need to move it to this position so all i need to just click and drag this out until i have this so if i click on this um so i can just move this here and if i'm to play this now it stays there can you see it stays there it doesn't slide back so that is the main um thing to this whole thing once you know how to once you can get this pivot positioning then everything will go seamlessly so this comes down then throws the ball so the next thing i'm going to do is to add the other animation so let me increase this timeline so let's make it 500 for instance because i still need to add one more animation so if i go to the yelling i can let me temporarily hide this go to the yelling go to animate and add motion clip make sure this is checked for this third animation and that yelling also is added so i can hide this and go to this timeline for this then i'm going to see the yelling here so what I'm going to do is Alt and right click to and middle click to move this. So I'm trying to squash this so I can have all the animation. Okay. So I have this. If I bring the yelling out, that comes up here. So what I'm going to do is just select this, maybe a little bit, bring it out a little bit, then move this inward so it's blend seamlessly just like we did for the first one then i can go on and delete this because i don't really need this anymore now if we are to check this now i'm also going to see the same problem notice after throwing this it slides back to that position and that is not what we want we want it to stay at that location so basically this is where it starts so you have to look for where it starts sliding so I think this is where it starts sliding. It stays here at this point. So it starts sliding at 229. So I'll go back to 228. And what I'm going to do now is to move this object to this location where I have this leg here. This is what I want to do. So I'm going to select this. Once I have this yelling selected, I'm going to create a new motion clip so a new pivot point rather so this is going to be yearly position all right so i think i don't need this anymore so i'm going to take this yearly position in and move that yell okay so i can hide this so that i can know where the yelling is so this yelling is meant to go over to this side and then rotate this yelling so i will go to rotate Okay, so I can rotate this here. Alright, so it's just something we will just try and make sure we get this right. Alright, so, so what I'm doing here is just tweaking this and rotating this up and moving it in place. So, um... Okay, so what next? Um, move this object here. 
So let's see what I have. So this is meant to still be here. So we'll remove this one until we get this right. All right. So you can see it moves down. Yelling it moves down. So instead of so you have to go into the different position. So instead of it moving down, we need to still move this up. So maybe I'm going to hide this for instance and for a while bring it up. So it's kind of hard to move. So what you need depending on whatever you want. So you just need to work on this until you are satisfied with so I think we should still move this up. Yeah. All right, so that is just basically how you bring in these animations and join them together. So if I'm to hide these things now, and also for me to hide these um, lines and all that, so I, I will just go to this motion clip and show motion clip goes, that goes up. So if you play this animation all together, you have it moving from that, throwing the pass. After throwing the pass, then it starts yelling. Why didn't you catch the pass? Why didn't you? What have I done wrong? So that is basically how to join these things together. And looking at this animation, it was really hard for me to get because I was looking for how to bring it. Now, the first one worked because the they were on the same position in the previous tutorial or in this tutorial they were on the same position but now what about if it moves away from its position to a different position how do you seamlessly join them this is why this is handy bringing the pivot point so that you can move the object to wherever you want it to start the animation from so i hope this was helpful this was um intuitive so if you like this please um do comment if you feel you have something new or something different that you could have done to get this right. Uh, if you just tell me, please, I would love to learn from there. But I think this is not straight up. Yeah, this is not straight up. So I think we just, because of tutorial purpose, if I was doing a project, I would have uh, rotated it and made it straight more, made it more straight. So uh, my bad. So, but that is just pretty much about it, how you can join different clips from Mixamo and using your motion clip. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.